a little surprise for you. I guess number one, I wanted to congratulate you on your, your hard work of getting the, the I Am Worth It project going. I know it's been a, a long journey since you quit your your cushy job to become <laughs> an kidding. entrepreneur. And, uh, I wasn't expecting it. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to say congratulations on getting this place going. You know, this is a, a Mother's Day gift that uh, we all put together for you as a team. <laughs> um, we know that it's your it's your dream to get onto the Ellen Show, and I promised you a year ago that I would make that happen. Yeah. And I teamed up with uh, <laughs> Jimmy and Michael here, and we've come up uh, with a plan to catch her. Am I going to need Kleenex? <laughs> 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 A lot of people, but after I did that segment, I just I haven't stopped thinking about him because that's mm. just the sweetest thing. It's always thing. been mom's dream to meet Ellen. Chad, Chad, are you thinking to get Tab in Ellen show again? Why don't you just go to Los Angeles and find Ellen? Good morning. Good morning. Good I'm just coming to LA here, seeing if you've seen Ellen generous around it. Actually, seen her at the Wax Museum. Hey, Zach. Nice out. Are you at the wax museum? <laughs> hey, Jimmy, how you doing, man? Looking sharp. Any chance you can tell me where Ellen is? Any chance you can tell me where Ellen is? Would you happen to know where Ellen is? <laughs> Never mind, you would know. <laughs> Obama? 2020? Betty, stay golden, girl. Do I feel like I'm doing your book? Actually, I do feel pretty lucky. I heard Ellen loves this restaurant. Does she have to eat it she does all this restaurant, but you just met her. Moses, you parted the Red Sea. All I want to do is meet Ellen. Can you make it happen? Time to step this up. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you in LA <laughs> You may be wondering why this guy from Calgary is going through so much trouble to meet Ellen. My mom didn't follow what you would call the traditional path. But then again, what is traditional? Well, I guess I'm not that lucky after all. Just a punk. A turbulent childhood and upbringing. She had me when she was 16. Married into a physical and mentally abusive marriage before she was old enough to vote. Found the courage to fight her way out for her and her children. Then hit with cancer at the age of 36, leading to another battle for her life. I'm not too sure what was harder for my mom, the abuse of marriage or the rounds of treatment. But this isn't a pity story. Outside of these challenges, my amazing mom worked her way up from the stockroom floor to the boardroom table, even though to the world she didn't have the right credentials. Despite her successes, she had struggles recognizing her own worthiness. Then one day on the phone with my mom, we were discussing her <laughs> strategies going into her raise review the next day. When I said to her, mom, it's not that they don't value you, it's that you don't value yourself. That's the day when it clicked. It wasn't other people that were holding her back, just like countless other women, she didn't believe she was worth it. For the first time, she said no, that's not good enough to the race she was offered. And to her surprise, she ended up receiving more than what she asked for. So you know what she did next? She quit her job. <laughs> that's right, my 53-year-old mom Grandma, who always played it safe and by no means was financially ready to retire, quit her job. I thought she was crazy. <laughs> she did this to follow her destiny to help other women around the world find their worthiness. My mom has sacrificed so much in this journey and it hasn't come without its challenges. But as a witness to what she's achieved, I wanted to share her story with you. Ellen, I was so inspired by your Johnny Carson story and your courage to call your shot to be the first female comedian to sit in his chair. Well, here I am, a son, proud of his mom, calling her shot for the opportunity to sit in your chair to share her message with the world. Okay, that's it for me. Hopefully this video brought you a laugh. I had a lot of fun making it. I hope to tell you about it sometime. Bye, Ellen. And hey, if you're watching this video, I hope you had a good laugh too. Obviously I failed and my plan didn't work. So if you could please help me share this video. So maybe, just maybe, <laughs> me and my mom can meet Ellen. And I can't even hug you. <laughs> virtual, virtual hug. <laughs> Jesus, you guys are crazy. <laughs>
<laughs> I really need a dog today. <laughs>